Hi, my name is Kim Dandridge, and I am here participating in the Hill Collaborative because of my journey as a caregiver to several close family members who have battled cancer, uh, not necessarily lung cancer, but some form of cancer. Um, in 20, let's see, 20, let me see, 2009, I believe, my mom was diagnosed with ovarian cancer that had spread, so they actually didn't know that it was ovarian cancer until uh, they continued uh, running tests. She subsequently um, lost her battle against um, cancer in uh, 2011. At the same time, I had a partner, he had uh, started having some back pain. And um, fast forward a couple years, after the back pain, actually it was kind of on his side, didn't go away. He, after being um, persistent about this pain not going away and going seeking medical care, they were able to get to the root of it after multiple tests, doctor's appointments, specialists. They finally found out he had multiple myeloma. So then I started that journey of being a caregiver, being his advocate, um, as he started that journey. He too lost his fight to um, cancer in 2017. Fast forward from there, in uh, 20, right after COVID, 2021 or two, um, my father was diagnosed with, uh, well, he had, he's a smoker, so they had noticed some um, spots on his lungs, and they said that they were going to monitor them. I think that was actually 2019. So after COVID, when he started going back for his routine follow-up appointments, they discovered a change in the size of what they had noticed previously. And um, they determined that it was lung cancer. So this past June, he had uh, lung surgery um, to remove his upper right lobe. Um, so, what brings me here before you today as a caregiver is it is very important to be in touch with yourself when you're carrying such heavy um, such a heavy load especially with people that you really care about uh, because I'm finding after going through this for the third time my survival mechanism is turning more into a disassociation just so that I can cope with all of this, you know, the death, the repeated deaths. And then now again with my father relocating him from Los Angeles to Albany, I'm starting to find myself getting into this rhythm of, it's kind of like running a business operation or something. And I think I'm losing myself. Uh, I'm just naturally a caring type person. I care about the person that's out in the streets and, you know, they're homeless, you know, that pulls on my heartstrings. But just becoming desensitized to that um, empathetic, uh, sympathetic um, component. I think um, is something that's gotten my attention recently. And so now I am taking more time to pause and think about how I'm feeling. I'm taking more time to actually connect and start to feel what I'm feeling and uh, experiencing it real time. And I guess it all circles back around to um, if you're caring for someone and it's been an extended period of time or uh, you've lost someone that you've cared for, um, whatever the situation is, just remember self-care 
and try to be present with yourself so that you don't lose yourself uh, during this process. So that's what I have to offer to you all, and I am grateful for this opportunity just to explore that thought.